There are two sentences that are basically holding you back from hitting your goals and frankly holding back all of humanity as well. Now I know that's a little bit dramatic, but hear me out. Number one, I'm too tired. Number two, I don't have time. Now these two sentences are so simple, yet so deadly, right? We don't have time to work out after work. You don't have time because you're too tired and you're too tired of not having enough time. Now the reason why these two sentences are so deadly is because it's true. Life is tiring, there's so many things you need to do, there's not enough hours in the day. Now I'm probably one of the worst offenders of this. Back in the day, I created a YouTube channel with my buddy, Nick. It was called Other 8 Productions. Now, the idea was noble and ambitious. My name is Min. We're two guys trying to maximize the other eight hours of our lives, not spent sleeping or working. So you had eight hours of sleep, eight hours for work. How do you crush the other eight hours of your life? We made these awesome videos and I absolutely loved it. They were so much fun. But you know what? Life got too busy. Our other eight felt like it was shrinking to other four and other two. And we didn't have enough energy, we didn't have enough time, we stopped. The reason why I'm making this video is because I think I found a cure. For $9.99, you can buy these magical pills to give you 26 hours in a day. Just call me at 1-800-THIS-IS-TOTAL-BS. So these pills are actually for my dog, and it's because he has diarrhea. So in this video, I'll show you two things. One, why waking up early will allow you to rule the world and two, how to build this into a habit. And for the second point, I'm gonna borrow a lot of concepts from a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. There are three reasons why waking up early will allow you to rule the world. Reason number one, waking up early is kinda of like a productivity superpower. It's basically time travel. Okay, I, I took that way too far. But waking up early does give you a few additional hours in the day. And done right, these hours can be very precious. You have the least amount of distractions and the most amount of energy. During this time, no one is even awake yet. I mean, look, the sun is barely out and it's quiet. This is the time that you have for yourself. Some people say you're the same 24 hours as Elon Musk. Well, by waking up early, you have two additional hours. Yeah, take that, Elon. <laughs> oh, what a loser. Reason number two, waking up early is hard. That's precisely why it's hard that's so effective. Now waking up early in the morning is a very decisive moment. It gives you a sense of control over your day. And that's very, very powerful. Now this allows you to set off a chain reaction of other good habits. Now in the book Atomic Habits, this is called habit stacking. What do I mean by this? You wake up early, you make coffee, you work out, you start journaling, eat a strong breakfast, all before you start your workday. Now eventually, this will become your sacred routine. Reason number three, and this is probably the most important one here, by waking up early, this is a really good way of pissing off your girlfriend. <laughs> now time for the second part of this video, how to make this into a habit. Now, for the longest time, I've tried to wake up early with very limited success. What would usually happen is through sheer willpower, I would force myself to sleep early and to wake up early. And this would usually last for a few days or at most a few weeks. And before you know it, my old habits were just crashing back. And I never really had a very consistent routine of waking up early. So that's why I wanna share with you a few lessons from the book Atomic Habits. This book will teach you how to change habits the right way. There are these four laws of habit change, right? Law number one, make it obvious. When you start a new habit, you wanna make it very obvious of when and where you wanna start this behavior. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. For example, waking up early is not a habit, but going to bed at 9.50 and waking up at 6.30, now that's a habit. What most people lack is not motivation, but it's clarity. To sum up, law number one, make it obvious of when and where you will change that habit. Two, make it attractive. So one of the things that this book stresses is to reframe hard habits, like waking up early. So don't think about waking up early as, okay, you're gonna be 
you know, groggy and tired and it's hard, but reframe it as you now have time to do the things that you want to do in the morning. This is a concept called habit bundling, where you bundle a need and a want. So a need is a hard habit, and a want is something that's positive, that you, want, that you look forward to doing. For example, I need to wake up early and I want to drink coffee. So what I first thing I do when I wake up is to make coffee. Now, after I make coffee, I need to work out, but I also want to work on my YouTube videos. So I will work out first, and then I will work on my YouTube videos. You basically create a domino effect, where essentially you are able to stack good habits on top of each other. Law number three, make it easy. The key thing about waking up early, is not about waking up, it's about sleeping early. And for the longest time, I've had a lot of trouble with this. It's very easy to let the thing that you're doing at night kind of carry you away. But if you have an alarm to wake up early, you just set an alarm to sleep early as well. So I just set alarms on my phone that repeats on a weekday that will automatically remind myself to sleep early. Law number four, make it satisfying. This book talks about the practice of habit tracking. And every day you achieve the habit, you just do a check mark on that day. For days you don't do the habit, make an X. It's a very objective way of seeing on which days you did that habit, which days you did not. And we're very motivated by progress. We're motivated to actually do that habit and then check that off. If you skip a day, that's fine. The rule here is to not miss two days in a row. If you see two X's in a row, try to do everything you can to go back on track. There you have it. Wake up early while you defeat the two largest villains of humanity. I don't have enough time and I'm too tired. So go out there and get that beauty rest. And when you wake up, you can chase your dreams. Wow, I can't believe I just used that line. Who wrote the script? Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to hear from you. What are some tricks that you have used to either sleep earlier or wake up earlier? Every two weeks, I'll be creating videos to explore concepts around work-life balance and productivity. If you want to follow along, it would mean the world to me if you could like and subscribe this video. And I'll see you in the next one.